All right, here's today's shot. Hunting situation once again. Um, a lot of times if I'm hunting antelope, mule deer, anything out west, these open terrain shots are likely utilizing hay bales, rocks, any type of structure to get into that position are gonna be important. But once we're here, making sure that we have the right form and move at the right time is going to be critical one thing that i want to let you all or make sure you always do is stay tight to these objects that you're using because if that animal decides to pick its head up to kind of investigate the area you can always fall into that object like this and you're not silhouetting yourself it's really important and just tuck up in that shade. Shade is always really important for you. If there was a little more shade, it'd be ideal, but in this situation, I'm gonna be right here. The shot is a little bit further, so I need to pay attention to wind. When it comes to the wind, what I'm looking for is I'm utilizing some of the things between me and the target. I would pay attention to the grass. I can see a lot of that grass in the middle moving around quite a bit right now. So I know that there's grass. I would also use the top fingers of that tree that's right above the target. If they're bending over to the right, I know that the wind's coming through that valley hard, or if it was bending to the left, it would be opposite. So in this case, I would stay tight. I would come out just enough to get my range, get my range. I could set my sight while I'm tight up against this bale right here. And then I'm going to be able to come out for my shot. I don't like to have one foot up. You know, some people may put one foot up like this. It starts to get hard to shoot across your knee. Put that knee down in the ground. Sit back on your heels and you'll have a good platform. Have your feet and your torso facing forward so that you've got a 90 degree angle to that target. If the wind really starts howling, don't be afraid to just stay in your pocket wait for that wind to slow down as soon as you have a little lull be able to make your shot smoke city little blades of grass like this can give you can give you your sign and if you uh if you're lucky enough to pick a five leaf white clover <laughs> then you know it was a good shot you're in prairie those grass tops when they're laying flat you know the winds hard when they start to stand back up and when these branches above the target start to ease then you know you got the ability to make your shot so this was a perfect perfect shot if this was an antelope that would have been right on the money